It's I'm not going 90 miles an hour. It's a, no, we're we're totally within the speed limit. Yeah. Where are we? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. How's it going? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm heading to the office right now and feeling pretty good. Uh, kicked off the week, hit my vertical goal yesterday. Things are off to a snappy start. Anywho, um, we've got a meeting today out at McDonough Mountain Regional Park for the Havilene 100. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'm also gonna climb about 2,000 feet today. So even less than yesterday. So I guess it's even more of a recovery day. Uh, Trying to plan out my big run for the week later on. Trying to get 10,000 feet in a single run uh, this weekend in Tucson, actually, of all places. When you think of Tucson, you might think, well, it's kind of like a flatter, worse version of Phoenix. But in reality, you would be wrong. They've got the ridiculous sky islands down there. Basically, these mountains in the middle of the desert, like just flat desert everywhere, huge mountain that goes all the way up to the pine trees. It's freaking sick, dude. I love it. Anywho, I'm gonna check back in later on, but I just wanted to kick things off with this video uh, by, by just wishing you guys a good day and hopefully you are uh, getting out there, getting after it, uh, hopefully getting some vert in if that's your thing. Otherwise, uh, you know, just getting out there, getting some running in or uh, any other type of activity that uh, clears your head and gets your day started off right or ending right, either way. We're heading out to uh, McDonald Mountain Regional Park for our meeting. It's totally normal, right? It's totally normal. Uh, <laughs> I've only got, you know, the Mogul Monster. Yeah! Oh my gosh. It's Jam Jam. No, it's just me, guys. Don't worry. We were we were sitting in, I was actually sitting in a in a meeting just at our office, and then I see Jubilee sprint towards the door, throw it open like a crazy person. Well, it's because it was already 103, and then Google said it takes one hour, one minute to get to the park. I'd imagine that's why you did that. We have a meeting at two. Uh, we, we really did, we left it to the last minute. I didn't realize it took an hour, but I think we're gonna be I here. didn't either, I thought it was like 45 minutes. I thought it was 45 it's, minutes. It's like 45 think, minutes from my house. Okay, yeah. well, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, it's I'm not going 90 miles an hour. It's a, no, we're, we're totally within the speed limit. Yeah. Where are we? Or, this meeting is for the Havilene 100, and um, it's top secret, so we can't really tell you what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> but we're talking about, probably we're gonna try and find out what costume the park supervisor is gonna be wearing. Right, right, We're gonna right, talk right. about what costumes we're gonna be wearing, cool. which is a surprise. Yeah. And um, probably we're gonna talk about ice. Man. How much ice is gonna be at Havilene 100 this year? Thousands. Thousands of pounds of all of the ice. We're gonna have we're gonna have like an ice luge probably one of the aid stations. I pretty much want to have like a swimming pool of ice, and people will the just like ice bath. will just like shower themselves in ice all day long. That's what I want. Can we make that happen? Oh heck yeah, dude! Oh, we're getting we're gonna get a semi truck. Oh, Do you think they're gonna let you in? No. You're troubled. <laughs> Look, it's closed. We're gonna go in. Cool. I think you gotta pay. What? I have a, I have a pass. Ah. Uh -huh. It's a yote. Hi, He's limping, I think. Aww. Think I can get close to it? Hey, guy. Hi. You look pretty scrawny. Oh, and he just ate. Look at him. Look at his fat, fat belly. What? Holy... Oh my gosh. I've never seen that before. Daddy. Oh my god. I think he ate a rat. Listen, dude. Look, the whole thing is like really big. I know. Are you retaining water? Are you good though? <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got over here? So this has just become playtime with desert animals? The oh, gopher it's snake? Tiny little tarantula. He's dead. Oh, this guy's just peeking out. Is that a lizard? No, it's a snake. It's a gopher snake. He's just Hi. he's just peeking. Hi, buddy. What were in these ones? Scorpion. Oh no. I'm a scorpion. Ten points if you can. And then this tiny, tiny baby tarantula. Look how tiny he is. Oh yeah. 
Is that like the one we held that one time? No. What is that over there? Okay. What? That's what this meeting's about. Hi, buddy. Hairy pig. Well, it's it's a, it can eat cactus? How is... Not a pig. Huh? Oh, dang It's it. actually a colored peccary. How does it eat a cactus? Don't they like... They just have like strong jaws? It says it can eat cactus right there. It's it, pretty yeah. sweet. I had a cactus burrito the other week. You did? Yeah. Where's that at? There's a really good burrito place in Flagstaff what? that I ate after my long run. They have cactus burritos and it's really freaking good. What? All right, that meeting went well. You might be asking yourself, why? Why do I have a box of Hoka shoes? Well. Hoka is actually the title sponsor of this year's Haveling 100, so uh, as a perk and kind of as a requirement, uh, our whole staff will be wearing Hoka shoes for that race. So uh, I owned like two pairs of Hoka shoes in my career, but i um, pretty excited to check these out. This is a Speed Goat 2, so if you see me at Haveling 100, which I hope a lot of you do, uh, you'll be seeing me wear these guys all day, all weekend long. So we are uh, super excited to have Hoka on board. We have a lot of exciting things happening uh, which and coming up for that, which we are so excited to share with you guys. Um, we keep some of that under wraps right now, but over the coming few weeks, we'll be sharing more and more of those details. Uh, we're really excited to have them on board because they themselves are extremely excited about Haveline 100, about our race. And we wanna work with companies and brands that have a high stoke level because that's what we have. We have a lot of passion for the sport and uh, working with a company like Hoka has been very refreshing and awesome because they care and they're they're also, they're a little weird guys, just like we are. Aravipa, we're a little out there if you didn't know this. If this is new to you, get on board. Uh, but anyways, um, lots of cool, exciting things happening with, with the Hoka Havelina uh, partnership for this year and for next year. They're they're on board for minimum two years. So all of you Havelina runners, uh, let's see you guys rocking those Hoka's out on the trail this year. And um, stay tuned for a lot more with Hoka and with Havelina. For me, it's kind of an interesting little spot to be in because I myself run in Solomon's and I am supported by Solomon. And we also work with uh, Ultra for the Black Canyon Ultras. So, um, kind of in a position where I'd like to work, I like working with multiple brands um, for different projects and different uh, different things. So um, yeah, that's kind of like a, a statement of where, what, what's going on with that. So uh, anyways, I'm heading out of here. I'm gonna go get my run in, 2000 feet of climb, and my brother's gonna be joining me tonight. We're doing a, a tour of the backyard ridges behind my house. That's gonna be a good time. So stay tuned for a little bit of that. <laughs> I uh, just finished up 2,000 feet of climbing there with my bro uh, out on the local backyard trails. Uh, kind of a short video day today. Uh, it's about 9.20 p.m. right now. Um, had dinner with my brother, which was really great. Got to catch up on some things. Um, I'm off to bed now. Uh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and go to November Project. It's a local workout fitness group. Uh, I'm gonna smash some vert. I've got uh, 2,000 on the calendar for tomorrow, so kind of another easy recovery day if that's even a thing um, but got some fun stuff on tap for later in the week uh, a couple longer adventure runs which I'll be sure to film and uh, hopefully get in some cool cool adventures uh, possibly in Tucson so stay tuned for that it's gonna be a good time and uh, anyways hopefully you guys are having a great day had a great day whenever you're watching this I have no idea when that will be but um I'll see you in the next video, and uh, again, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.